I think what's in the name can either empower you or destroy you. I absolutely do not want to climb this route. It's just not welcoming and, and that's not how you should feel. The American dream, like I've always heard that word and it always fits so much into my life because so many of us immigrate to this country searching for the American dream, right? And when we moved here, that's all we wanted, right? A better life. And when I found climbing, like I felt like that, that was the American dream for me. So with route development, I think naming your route in a way that you can attract people and make people feel welcome and comfortable is kind of a special thing. My name is Maisa Lima. I am a 33-year-old rock climber, and I am an immigrant from Brazil. And I am now also a route developer. <laughs> am I? <laughs> so you basically get to create this new climbing route. This process of boating your route and clean this route and be the first person to climb it and name the route whatever you want. The route names, controversy. This is, has been a huge subject that's going on to the climbing community where some routes, their names are super discriminating and it shouldn't be there in the first place. Names like Slavery Wall, Black Lesbian Party, Welfare Crack, Darky, one less And so now I am literally on a mission to find rock and start boating and developing these routes and be able to name these routes the way I want them actually. We left Brazil 17 years ago trying to find a better future. My mom always made all of my clothes because we couldn't afford to buy clothes. Just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you leave? My husband is a firefighter for the Air Force and we got stationed here two years ago. Great Falls, Montana is definitely not a place that I would have chosen to live <laughs> if I could choose. I feel like out of place, honestly, when I'm here. Good old Montana. Through climbing, I definitely learned American culture. Um, that's when I started connecting with people that were born and raised here. But also, um, I'm basically the only female climber in my town, and I just feel like I can bring people to me. And boating routes super close to home, creating these crags is the perfect way to do that. <laughs> We're ready. So hard. The rock is super hard. It's a, it's a process to put a boat up here, for sure. Probably like less than an inch and the drill bit is about to give up. <laughs> I have the honor to name these routes and I want to do justice and I want to like, give them like awesome names. I want honor women, I want honor immigrants, I want to honor everybody, I want to honor people of color. Basically change the, the climbing scene in that sense. We're done. This does not look easy right here. <laughs> I 
we finally get to climb these routes and name them hopefully. I think this is the most fun part of the, the process where the boats are there, the route is clean, and you get to finally climb and try all the moves. A lot of really cool projects for my friends. I cannot wait to show them. This summer, me and some girlfriends are gonna be spending July 4th in Ten Sleep, Wyoming. That's like the main area with all the route name controversy. And that's one of the reasons why I want to go out there and, and kind of see it for myself. So I can get more inspired to come back to Montana and name my route. Obviously we're here for many different reasons, but today we're going to go climbing at Psychoactive Wall. And I'm super excited to share this moment with some of my friends. Nice, Mesa. I feel like super lonely in Montana and I don't have really anybody to climb with most of the time. Not anymore. <laughs> Climbing with women that climb so hard, that have all these amazing skills and sharing this empowering like process with them, that's such like a, a bonding experience. Yeah, my goal is to create a community, not not just for myself, you know, like for our town. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. When I learned about all the racism and the social justice things that were happening, it's when people actually started talking about it. I've been taught how to just pretend that everything's okay or all as a joke. And I never like had that kind of conversation back in Brazil. And then I was asked, like, it never happened to you or you just like never actually like thought about it? And that's when I was just like, Maybe I'm not actually paying attention. So it's, for me, it's all a new language, honestly. I finally came to this spot and it's a slavery wall. Um, right now I'm looking at happiness in slavery. Just the lack of uh, respect with the entire history and there's just so much suffering behind it. And it's just, <laughs> I don't know, it's just a little overwhelming right now. I absolutely do not want to be here or climb this route. Honestly, I climb anything on this wall. Um, it's just not welcoming and, and that's not how you should feel, especially in the world of climbing. I never think about things deeply enough because I'm too scared of them, honestly. So it's really hard for me to like dream and maybe not have those dreams come true because, because I don't belong here and then, yeah, that. <laughs> and yeah, the fear that something's gonna get in the way of it is just too big for me to like dream out loud because if I have dreams, I want my dreams to come true. From Ten Sleep, I'm taking back to Montana a lot of knowledge. And I'm bringing out these cool friends that are going to be there with me. So I'm really excited. <laughs> so cool. This is so awesome. I don't usually have partners and to have you guys come all the way here to climb with me and check my roots, like, super exciting. Rock climbing. 
I tried the route, I think, twice, and I fell in the crux twice. Damn it. I'm getting tired now. Can you take it there? This is why I'm doing something wrong. My girlfriends were there, and they were also going to project the route with me. I think added a little bit of pressure on my end, but I needed like the motivation. I bring a heel hook and then just kind of like stand up on that heel hook and go to the cream. Yeah. Yeah. I can take. You need to figure this out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The chalk up on the by the crack. Yes, perfect. <laughs> it's hard to sing this song. But everybody was there cheering me on, and everybody wanted it as as bad as I did. You got this. The crux is a low crux. It has some powerful moves. Then you have to do this super committing move with the right hand. You have to pull like this super high left heel hook. Throw to this left hand crimp. Yeah, come on, Maisa. And then you have to kind of stem your right foot in order to get your right hand on this horn, which I've actually missed it quite a few times. <laughs> and then the rest of the route is just, just flowy, but I was still like super terrified of like blowing it or breaking a hold or doing anything wrong. Nice, come on. I named it American Dream just because I think it just represents everything that I've lived and everything that I want to live. It's been a long journey for sure, but uh, I, I still think this is just the start. This is just the beginning.